this is the third car that I have restored. I should say the third one that uh, Sterling Hot Rod has restored for me. This one I don't have a connection with. I merely think that it's one of the nicest looking cars with the best lines on it that ever came out of that era. I've always wanted one convertible. Uh, I've only had one convertible in my life, so I thought I would uh, sort of go all the way with this one. Having restored the other two, I knew that uh, I shouldn't get a rust bucket because it's nothing but time and money and aggravation. So I looked around and found the best one I could find, paid premium price for it, but there wasn't much mechanical to do on this. Most of the time and effort and money was spent on my modifications. And uh, I've been very happy with uh, working with Sterling on that. They did a good job on it. The first thing we looked at was uh, gauges, and I like uh, separate gauges, so we put a set of four in there, their auto meter. I customized the, the gauges to kind of match the uh, interior and exterior of the car, uh, blue and, uh, and uh, tan. And uh, I moved, we moved the, the uh, gear shift to the floor. And we did that because I want to build a console like I've done on my other cars. I just think that looks really classy. And uh, I'm going to take it home and build that over the next month or so and bring it back for Eric to uh, upholster. And the other thing that we did, which was difficult, was the wheels. I wanted to put Foos Legend wheels on it. And there's only one, one model of those that actually fits. Tried to put uh, disc brakes on it, that turned very problematic. So what I did was uh, go with paint on the uh, very classic uh, brake drums and it turned out really well. So I'm just as happy with that. The brakes are in excellent condition. condition. Well, I'm, uh, I'm a show car guy and uh, I live in Great Falls, Virginia. So every Saturday morning from six to nine, there's a cruise in, there's about 400 cars there. I go every, uh, every week, it, even if it, it's bad weather and I can't take my classic car, I go for the social, social hour, breakfast club, and that'll be a, I'll be a regular there, and there's a lot of car shows in the area, so that's, that's the kind of thing I want to do with it. I don't anticipate any long drives, I'm certainly not going to hot rod it, but I got plans to beef up the engine and I got the parts for it already, but that's that's uh, coming later. It's got a 364 engine in it with two barrel. It'll soon have uh, dual quads with lots of bling. And uh, uh, again, that's, that's something I'll have to wait until I get other things done. It's ready to roll, I think, and I'm anxious to get it in my garage. I measured it, I measured it carefully yesterday. And this is an 18-foot car. And I have about a 19-foot space left in my garage, so uh, it's going to be a tight fit.